The simple planetary gear set consists of three gears. You will have a sun gear which sits down into the middle. You'll have what we call a carrier gear and this is multiple smaller idler or pinion style gears that are connected to one metal housing and they all rotate as one assembly and the idlers can rotate independently but the actual gear is this whole housing and you can see it's got a spline to it so that's an output. This gear is called an annulus or ring gear and it's got teeth that point from the end towards the center so we call this an internal gear because the teeth point inwards. So this is a three gear set and they fit together in a compact design and they have some unique drive characteristics. In order to have any kind of driven output you have to hold one of the drive members from rotating. In this case the friction of the ring gear sitting on the table is causing the carrier gear to be the driven output and the sun gear I am powering as the drive input. If I do reach over and hold this carrier gear we will see the ring gear now be forced to turn. And I got a lot of hands in here so it's difficult to keep my hands out and let you see what's going on. I can also hold the carrier and turn the ring gear which causes the sun gear to be driven. Or I can hold the sun gear and turn the ring gear and that will cause the carrier gear to be driven. These pinion gears can turn both in the same direction as the carrier or in opposite. In this example you can see that the carrier is turning clockwise but these little pinions inside they are actually turning counterclockwise. On the other hand, if I hold the sun gear and turn the ring gear, you can see the carrier gear and the carrier pinion gears are both turning clockwise.